Hello there, so this is the test of the sample project. I'm using long term support, uh, 2019 long term support. I had to import uh, a different troll. I really don't care about what the troll walking about. I can do all that at another time with another stuff. What I am interested in is getting the TTS to work. At the moment, it's a fail to load voice. I had to drag the TTS Unity script into the TTS component here. It said script missing. I just made a guess at that. Uh, so when I hit play, everything runs, apart from the fact it doesn't load the voice. <coughs> so, um, rah. And nothing. Oh, I like the fact you've got enter to actually take the text. I did that on another thing. So, there you go. That's my current problems with the uh, the Unity demo in Windows 7. And I, once I've got it working with Windows 7, I want to get it up and running into Windows, uh, sorry, into Linux Cinnamon, Mint Cinnamon 20. Uh, I'll give you a demonstration of what I've been achieved with Mary TTS and, uh, RT Voice Pro. Uh, so I'm sure I need to set up some sort of um login or something to register the voice and everything so anyway this is what i've achieved with uh arty voice pro it's uh, i still struggle with it but it's uh right well, i'll show you what i've done Hello and welcome. This is test demo. Text 6. My next milestone is to be able to do this all and read the text and... Then that's the wrong one. So let's uh, bring up uh, scene. So I need to drag in demo text 7. I prepared one. Where's the file? It's not there. Is it there? Should be there somewhere. X files yeah. hidden. Oh wait, hey, so that can hide because uh, it's an array, is it? I wish I could hide my um my IP. I've had to use the demo IP. I'll bring it up. This is uh, a secret. Uh, so I probably need to make that into uh, an array just to get it to hide. Because uh, I don't want to focus my IP, but this is the one that uh, gives you a limited demo. But I've got mine working on a Pi Zero and also on a uh, Linux machine, no TTS. So it's a tick box, boom. You put in your URL, the port number, your username, your password, and the type of uh, stuff. And um, <clears throat> this is where I feel as if. This is the sort of thing I should be looking at for um, Sorry, Proc. Uh, the guy doing this is developing it and promising it by the end of the year. That's three months. I wouldn't mind. No, more than that. But um, a few months' time. And uh, I really wouldn't mind getting it going beforehand. But obviously, if that's the best I can do, that's the best I can do. Uh, I do struggle. And... Um, Speech text, there we go. So let's drag that into files, it's hidden again. It is. Um, and what I'd really like to do if I bring up the text again, I've had to put in the marker language, the prosody contour, and the text. And what I'd really like to do is have just ordinary text files. Minimize that. Well, I just like ordinary text files and have this load. So I'd have one thing with all the Prosody contours and one thing with the text, the ordinary text file and have them blend together, load in the string tables and stick them together so that you put different contours for each, uh, sentence. Right now I've had to do it manually, which is not the, the best way, but it's, I'm just getting it going really. Okay. So I've Switched that demo to text seven. Let's try.
obviously it's a lot quicker if I use um, my own first server. Hello and welcome. This is test demo text seven. So this is as far as I have reached using Emirates Server Unity 2019 LTS and RT Voice Pro. I am pretty impressed to be honest, but I am always seeking to improve. I was tempted with Azure, but I did not understand their pricing structures and was very unimpressed by 30 days free. I my pace of development as an indie developer and educator is slow forward slash sporadic. Microsoft Azure offered amazing features but I did not understand their pricing structures. I also need a lot of technical support to get up and going. I would really like to implement and integrate with Serapric Voices. First step is to get the Unity Serapric demo working. Second step is to integrate my existing project with Serapric. Yeah, that's all very well. <laughs> Not quite what I was, uh, the pronunciation there is not quite what I was after, and I, I hope that doesn't manifest. So, um, let's escape to get out of that. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'd really like to stay within this development if I could, because the RP Voice Pro, although it's expensive, that simply, it really does wrap everything up in away and also the fact is I don't really want to maintain this code if I can help it as much as possible I want to offload or delegate say this stuff and code maintenance to uh, RT Voice Pro that's why I use these assets um, but they they are a bit of a pain to delve deep uh, so yeah, my next steps are to try and just get the <laughs> Mary TTS, not sorry, the Soprop demo working and then integrate it into this and then get it over to Linux. And also I want to either connect to my own server or a uh, cloud, um, you know, the, the Soprop cloud, much like I did with the Mary TTS. But I really am a bit lost. Uh, to give an example, I've got something called Dodo. So I've installed Dodo because that's what I actually had and bought. Um, but it just doesn't work in an awful lot of things. Like um, my favourite uh, voice changer slash virtual microphone is called Morbox. And uh, so prop voices don't work there. If I bring up the demo here of, um, I'm going to have to do plugins, crosshair, virtual voice. And before you do demos, you're supposed to do the, the UI. So I do the UI in port. I don't know if you've got much of it. And then, multi voice demos. And like the first demo they do in port, I think I've already got, I've already got those ones. Like the first demo they do, which is just a general speech and you hit play. Uh, it, it gives me, it finds my, finds them, and this is what I've had with a lot of these things. It finds the self voice, uh, but it doesn't play the voice. Hi there, my name is Root Voice, your runtime speaker. I can now speak with a complete SSML specification at half speed or 50% lower pitched. I can talk with rising intonation or with falling intonation. My name is Voice. This is awesome. Hello. Oh. Science at all? So maybe it's just taking its time. See, I, I really need some feedback if it's actually doing anything. That was weird. It actually came in then for a bit. 
Dodo was having a go at Microsoft Anna. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, that settings. Maybe try and do that. Hi there. My See. name is Harris. Your name speaker. It's really, really slow. I mean, it's awesome. I love the accent. I can now speak with a complete SSML specification at a speed of 50% lower pitch. Fantastic. I can just imagine this. I can talk with Ryzen in the nation or with Fawn in the nation. This is awesome. It is awesome. So, uh, I'll take back what I said. That, but, um, honestly, I could, if I could get this to work in Twitch and uh, in GTA, GTA RP, just speaking Scottish, is, Glaswegian is so atmospheric. Another one I'd really like is um, Yorkshire, Yorkshire accent, and uh, because that's a kind of like the default dwarf sound. But um, yeah, that Scottish one really blows me away. I mean, I know a lot of Americans won't be able to understand a word he's speaking, but it's so atmospheric. As, for example, in GTA 5 RP, coming in as Glaswegian, it just uh, it sends chills to me, honestly. But um, that's by the by. Uh, it seems uh, so pop voices seem a bit temperamental. Um, they need to be a lot quicker. Uh, hopefully, I can figure out a way of doing that. I mean, I, I suppose, I, do I mind if it's just built into, I just find, okay, it, if I explain myself, I find if it's built into Windows, it just seems to be unreliable. Uh, everything about Windows seems to be rather unstable. You get new versions come along and break everything. So if I can get away from that and have it in a Linux-based server or on the cloud, uh, I would feel like that would be a much better bet. And to be honest, I think I really need it. I don't know. Although it's only going to be my initial thing is going to be like this is a one person one voice thing for pushing basically pushing through Morphbox microphones so that you can take on the persona of the uh, the accent. It still needs to be faster than that. It needs to be a bit more real time, uh, but the quality is is amazing. So um, yeah. So any help would be appreciated. Anyone who wants to give me help, but particularly the, um, aiming this at the support for SoPop. And like I said, in in about six months' time, uh, Arty Voice, Voice, fingers crossed, will have this support in it, so we just go straight to it. But I still need to be able to set up my own server, preferably on a Pi. Could be Pi Zero, could be a Pi Four. I don't mind. It could even be a Pi Five when that comes out. Just off low power usage. Um, off the main computers uh, for local use. Um, <clears throat> or, and also possibly using the cloud. I don't, I'm not, I mean, I just feel as if the cloud could be potentially a lot slower, but I'm, I'd quite like to test it out and actually get it working. So that's the state of play so far. So, it does work, but it's so slow compared to the native one here. Hi there. My name is Root Voice, your runtime speaker. I can now speak with a complete SSML specification at half speed or 50% lower pitched. I it doesn't do the contours. Or with falling in donation. This That's is no, awesome. no change. It is awesome, but it's not change. Hi there. My name is Harris, your runtime speaker. I can now speak with a complete SSML specification at half speed or 50% lower pitch. 
I can talk with Rise in Indonesian or with Fawn Indonesian. This is awesome. It really is awesome. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if we could get this to work, that would be amazing. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Uh, 